50,000 Portland public school kids are back in classes now, but as the school year begins, we can't forget the thousands of other kids who are in alternative schools. They're dealing with everything from poverty to family crises, and getting them back on track is a big part of where we live. Before school started in East Multnomah County, Unfortunately, there's a lot of low-income housing and, and folks that are uh, struggling with jobs. Students and staff from POIC Rosemary Anderson High School gave away 2,500 backpacks and school supplies. Doing things like this really help families out. It's not the only way Rosemary Anderson High School helps families. With four campuses across Portland Metro, the private alternative school helps educate up to 700 kids who didn't or couldn't make it in public school. We don't serve necessarily bad kids. We just serve kids that need something different. Kids like Malise Sistrunk, who needed a more personal setting to find his potential. They're going to do whatever they can to bring that out of you and then some. So I think it's just, it's just love, time, and energy. POIC Rosemary Anderson is one of about a dozen community-based alternative schools in Portland Metro, as opposed to several others like Metropolitan Learning Center that are part of the district. While the graduation rate at Portland Public Schools is about 75 percent, it's 85 percent at Rosemary Anderson. But McFerrin told me it's not comparing apples to apples because his students do take longer to get to the finish line. They start further behind and many have serious life issues to deal with, which the school helps them with. Without that love, care and energy, I wasn't able to learn. So for students who fall through the cracks in public school, the alternatives can be their safety net. Now, Portland Public Schools tells me there are nearly 3,000 students in their district-wide alternative schools, and that does not count the thousands of other kids in private alternative schools like Rosemary Anderson, which does have a contract with the district. And in just doing the research for this story, we found that there are thousands of kids who are not going the traditional route, yeah. the pub, uh, public school route. I think it's really becoming common, but uh, I mean, whatever gets them to the finish line, you know, and it, I mean, it is staggering the amount of kids that don't graduate from uh, schools in, in Portland in general. So. Yeah, the Portland public school graduation rate, as we said, was, mm -hmm. uh, you know, about 75 percent, which is a big improvement yeah. over where they have been in the past. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, one out of four kids has to seek another option. Well, that kid you interviewed seems like he's doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and you could tell that he's a little older uh, mm -hmm. than your typical high school graduate but that's kind of what they do at Rosemary Anderson is take these kids and uh, they get them to the finish line even if it's later in life yeah. than normal cool yeah